Ayanbe I didn't have a restoration, evangelical mission. No So he can call me an ordinary an evangelist. I will answer. My mission is to help people live better life. No, but it's not going to be so our today's topic is check your character before blaming. Check your character before blaming water elements. I repeat, check your character before blaming water elements. You get from Aswari and Olibo. You lay a wagon. Maro de Aguinaba. Before I seen on the media, won't be responsible. You did put a reason in or what you can even name an event. I wouldn't eat I can tell you. You will regret yourself from the world you will hear today. Because man is active of his problems. When I be fired, but you walk with him. I just want to enjoy and I talk more, 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 more. Can I can enjoy? I got you, but you must be passive. No one do now. Yes. Okay, boy. You are the case with another matter. Never open it on us of what do. This time, Sabre, but there are no room why I run a temple more than a giant at you. He have a jambuni and a jibuti, I guess you go in a bunny in the beginning. But I had a short testimony more we go on a social media. Macanobri hide in my cabia. But I can tell you, you can't in a giant at you, the Macanibo. This ought to play the door in my temple to a jangle for good yoko. A uh, mason declaration upon the lives of those that join us this morning. 
you can join us anywhere you are all over, all over the globe. To join us, you forward your three prayer requests. Then make a uh, token donation to the account number. Chat me on WhatsApp. I will give you other details I need you from you in order to book you. At the last day of the month, we will visit the rivers, the river, to offer sacrifice. It's about things to water elements as Saraka on behalf of all. Then I then a temple to offer animal sacrifice to entities of powers in the temple to present their prayer needs on behalf of all. Then we go to uh, eventually offer a sacrifice on behalf of all. I can tell you, so many people have benefited a lot from this sacrifice. We started it almost three years now. Some people have been following us. In fact, every year, some people normally donate, as in throughout the year, to ensure that they do not even skip even one month. What I can tell you is that there is massive benefit in this post sacrifice because we will be careful. Yes. So let's continue with this lecture. You will learn a lot if you can only pay attention. As you are joining us, I'm welcoming you in today's lecture. Yes. You can share our messages to invite your friends and well wishers. If you are following us from our social media platforms, then if you are following up from Ezioku TV, tell people about our administration in Ezioku TV. So if you want to join us or you have any question for this lecture, then send a message to me on WhatsApp. 0805-7837-672. I repeat, 0805-7837-672. Or 0813-824-3871. I repeat, 0813-824-3871. Now listen, let's continue diving to today's lecture. Like I said earlier, the title of today's lecture is Check Your Character Before Blaming Water Elements. Lots of things are happening in this gross material world. Namely, a lot of people have level much allegations to water elements calling them names that they are responsible why they are not succeeding in life. Saying lots of things. When a lady is um, of age, not getting married, they will blame the way. They will blame water elements. When a woman is childless, they will blame on the uh, water elements. When a man is not succeeding his business, they blame the men. When a man has beautiful daughters, a woman has beautiful daughters, you have none of them getting married, they blame the water elements. When there was when there is lots of disappointments. Upon someone is someone's life, they blame water. Virtually everything, virtually everything negative, they associate it with the middle. Listen and listen good. There are so many things that will bring negativity upon your lives. But above all, Everything depends on your lifestyle, knowingly and unknowingly. Let me say this. What you don't deserve, what you don't deserve will never happen to you. Yes, some people will not like to hear it, but it's fact. I will prove it. Whatever you don't deserve will never happen to you. Let me explain. 
remember, we are here on earth to mature and to become better human beings. Yes. In order for us to be able to, because of our consciousness, our maturity, to be able to contribute our quota towards further recreation. So the purpose of man, why man was created, is to be here on earth, the cooler region, to gather more experience so that the person will mature by experiencing and by so the, the person will be conscious of he or her true self. Then he will join uh, among the saints. Calling the chair in the most spirituality. By so doing, you have already joined the decision making body, and by so doing, you will be able to contribute to your quota towards further creation. That is the purpose why man was created. So, remember if there is no challenge, there won't be any champion. If there is no testing, there won't, there won't be any testimony. So, we are here on earth to experience. So, challenges you are facing on earth might be as a result of your lesson what is already destined to you for you to experience in order to be matured so not every challenges of life is as a result of um living bad life or negative influences some of this whatever your experiences today is willingly accepted by you before you are here in this course material. Are you following? Some of this decision was taken willingly by you. Knowingly or knowingly. The thing is that we human beings, except few individuals are permitted to have faint idea of their true being. If not, human being does not see beyond their nose. So sometimes we took this uh, uh, oath, yes, uh, willingly, because it's actually what we need to experience in order to pass that particular stage in life, spiritual wise. So whenever we started experiencing them, if we are not inwardly activated, you might be accusing people around you, accusing your spiritual forces, accusing elements, accusing everybody that they are the one that cause you whatever you are experiencing now. I don't know what you are experiencing anyway, but I can tell you, not every experience in life is harmful. Yes, it will pain our body when we are experiencing some certain things that we don't actually want as humans. But sometimes those experiences is actually what will benefit the spirit, which is the core you. Are you following? So what I'm experiencing, let me tell you one thing, don't know about nature. No man or woman, be you who, will ever experience life to the fullest from beginning to the end without experiencing some down for up and right and some experiences no human let me explain further you see this gross material whatever we are about to experience on earth or what whatever we are experiencing has been predicted by nature nothing is stable that is nothing is stagnant I know I wanted to use a word that you will make you to understand it. What change is constant. Let me put it this way. Change is constant. It's something you will keep experiencing. You know why? Because there is constant movement in creation. Creation is not stagnant. You keep on revolving. Keep on revolving. That is creation for you. This world is not the way it looks last 1,000 years, last 5,000 years. <clears throat> you know that this world has been in existence thousands of years, you know. So, it's not how we
way human being looks now is not how we look maybe thousands of years back. We revolve. And that's better because there is constant movement. There is this constant heat that made it possible that stagnation is not allowed in creation. Are you following? Yes. That is why, let me give you an example. Use a, a simple um, explanation to explain something to you. I keep saying it that earthly experiences or earthly governance is post uh, prototype of what we are happening, what is happening in the spiritual realm. I keep saying it if you are my follower. What does that mean? Whatever that is happening in this gross material, what they are seeing, has a prototype in the spiritual realm. Let me explain further. In let me use Africa as a yastic. We have three major seasons in Africa. We have rainy season, which we are experiencing now. We have amatai season. Then we have dry season. These seasons, because there is constant renewal, God Almighty in His infinite mercy after creating the entire universe, he is on his throne, but keep pouring uh, renewal blessings upon the entire creation so that the, the world will keep looking at you is by the power of God Almighty. So God Almighty, without him renewing, keep renewing his powers on earth, the earth will look, grow old and decay. But God, in His infinite mercy, keep pouring His blessings. Yes, that is continual renewal of earth. That's why earth can be have lasted thousands of years and will still last thousands of years to come. See, remain at the way it is. You know why? Because God Almighty keep on renewing earth by releasing His powers. Yes, physically. As a woman who does not understand how things work in the spiritual, we will not, will not be able to see or even perceive this renewal, God's power. Yes. But I can tell you, this renewal of power, you will notice it even with some physical sign. Let's assume the rainy season. During the rainy season, we understand that the nature offer something very unique on earth. When there is showering of that blessing of God in form of rain, everything on earth, we are new look. Even the trees, even the grass, every, everywhere look greenish. That is all of God. Are you following? Yes. So that's the time of renewal. That for type of rainy season you are seeing, so you, you are seeing that then we are in ready season, right? But I can tell you, it's time of outpouring of God's power. Yes, and it has season. That's why even people all in world religion over, there are these festivals that often come from April. Yes, from April to September. It's time of renewal. That's why even many religious body face their one renewal or the other. In Igbo spirituality, we celebrate the spirit, the, the, the festival of how it will interest you to know in, in Igbo spirituality. This month we are in the festival of how. Yes. So the same way, many of our religions so we put their festival time, so we call it act burden of the Holy Spirit. So we call it Pentecost week, so we, uh, Pentecost time, so we call it so many things. But the most important thing is that they recognize the fact that within this time I just mentioned, the power of God Almighty reign on earth to renew, make this world anew. You might not understand, but that is the fact.
So we have rainy season, every taste, even human being receive fresh air. But we have another season, have a time, dry season. We even notice it from the looks of things. The grass, the trees, everything looks rent, dried up because of lack of abundance that rain brings. By so doing, you will notice that all the, the, the atmosphere is not stable. It revolves. So in your life existence, you can never be stable. Your life existence keeps revolving. So you are bound to receive time of abundance, time of stability, and time of renewal. So in our life, definitely we are here. Oh, Afia, on your store, on our. I don't know where you will learn so many things. So, some of these challenges you are seeing in life is as a result of your out of life. The level of your life is not stable. Because of the lack of abundance, the lack of renewal, the lack of stability, 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 the lack of renewal, the lack of Challenges, whatever challenges you are facing now. Because you don't see your previous earth life, so you don't know where you stop. So yeah, you are can be responsible. Are you following? Your note can be responsible for whatever that happened to you. Like yeah, no, 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 Guinea with that okay. Have you have you noticed that if you know safety, let me give you an example. This road safety you are seeing, they are actually here to for our own benefit. Their work is to ensure that road users apply caution. However, whenever we default, they will discipline us by giving us some punishment. Are you following? If I ask you now if road safety is bad, would you say yes or no? I can assure you, real safety is not bad, but they are our friends. However, they are there to protect us and to show, ensure that we apply all real safety measures. Are you following? For our own good. However, they are also there to discipline us whenever we go astray. The same thing with your spiritual forces. When sometimes, if they give you some instructions on what you must do in order to be great in life, to achieve greatness and mature well. And the act of your own ignorance, you refuse to follow that path. Sometimes they can bullala you just to whip you to the line for your own well being. They are not evil. Rather, they are your companion that really wants you to mature. Are you following? So you can see that your endowed, your endowed can actually bring some bullala across your line. Just, it's not out of hatred, but out of love for you to live by the track laid down for you from creation. Are you following? Yes. There is also Yandut. The your water elements can actually bulala you a little if you go astray against the natural plan destined for you on earth. All, of, all they are doing is for your own benefit. Because they understand too well that if you fail, it's not going to be or go well with you. Are you following? So they can, it's like a child, a, a parents training their child. If the child is going astray, you can flog the child, you can discipline the child because you love the child generally and they want the child to be better. Are you following? That does not mean that your parents is able, or that does not mean that your spiritual associates are only bringing the able. Actually, what they are working for is for your own good. Are you following? Then, your lifestyle too can bring Bulala across the line. If a child refuses to do live a good life and he, he went around going about do, committing some crime committing uh, atrocities, maybe they're taking uh, Murumri and they're taking all these hard drugs. Yes, the child needs to be disciplined. 
for his own betterment. So sometimes your lifestyle will bring calamity upon your life. Let me give you an example. There is this particular family I had of. This particular family is a family that really they don't understand it. You know that I have seen a family that often gang up and beat their father mercilessly. Have you heard such a thing? What is the crime of the father? These children will gang up and start blaming their father for not sending to them to university. The man have done his best. But for them, they think that the man's best is not enough. Therefore, sometimes they will gang up and beat their father up. What they are doing is barbaric. I should be On no account you should beat your father up. Once you do it, you receive cost instantly. Are you following? Once you respect your parents, you receive blessing instantly, knowingly or unknowingly. It's only that fourth commandment that is a, a commandment that have clause. Obey your prayers so that you will live long. Can't do who to go no more. Are you following? So when you disobey your parents with impunity, believe in me, your life will be short, spiritually and physical. Let me give you an example. One of this particular child that normally often beats up his father, today as we speak, is in prison. What is crime? Because when you have the morale to beat up your father, you have done the worst. You can do unto. Because what is he beating his father? His father trying, trying, often try to discipline him to be of good morals. But this, this particular children refused to change because they wanted to live wayward life and the father refused. Whenever the man tried to advise them, they beat him up. And the man keep crying. Believe in me, that cry and that tears of that old man will never fall in, the, in, in bed. He bring us and the nemesis. And to God the whole story short, this particular guy that I knew of, that normally beat his father, went around and they committed um, sexual harassment homo, to another guy. And uh, that guy happens to be a child of a rich man. Now, as we speak now, this particular guy has been dealt with. He's in prison now. In prison. Are you following? Now, because he committed that atrocity and deserved to, 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 be, to teach a lesson. And you don't know why the gods allow that particular guy to follow a victim of that thing in order to be disciplined. So, by the time he's done with this uh, prison sentence, he's already as uh, old And believe in me, that experience will be his life for, for life. Are you following? So, sometimes this iniquity he committed against his father, karma can, nemesis can bring this punishment. Because any our action has a poor reaction. So that action, you know, often between his father can bring a poor reaction of pushing him to do evil in order to go jail so that he will be displayed. Are you following? Do you know that evil you commit today, the the poor reaction, if all of you that study science understand that every action has a poor reaction. So that a poor reaction can come back to you, the originator, and bring doom. And uh, and the uh, nemesis again can to your life. Are you following? So, if you are a, a man, maybe losing after fellow man, what you are committing is abominable act, and it will, it will bring the akaruri, what we call akaruri, that follows any sinful act. So that sinful nature, yeah, sinful act will attract another sinful and negative vibration. He or she want to be bisexual. Their marriage and their relationship often crash. You know why? You can eat your cake and have it. Some people are homo, but they still got married. 
And once they got married, maybe for reason to camouflage and or whatever, their marriage will not last. Because their partner will often uh, lament. So, if you are a man, but you are a, 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 a home, you are homo, believe in me, even if you pretend and decide to get married in order to cover your tracks, that your marriage will not last. Because your partner will never be satisfied. So the same thing with a woman. If you are if you are on your super, if you are on your super, and the, for the fact that you are your super one, even if you get married tomorrow, that your marriage will never last. Because if you are on your super, there is no way you pay attention to your marriage hundred percent because it's not it's not where you belong to. That's your life of super lesbianism. You always attract negative equal vibration back to you and you never have peace. So I know a particular lady, this lady is a lesbian. So but he just want to go fly and get married. At the end of the day, he keep having problems with the husband. You know, he doesn't have interest in as in having a man to man relationship in marriage. Every, every time the husband will be complaining. Eventually, one particular day the man traveled, and for one reason or the other, the man came back suddenly and they got his wife, love, lawful wedded wife, with his girlfriend, no matter that all often visit the house. The wife introduced the, the fellow woman as his best friend. So sometimes they will be just the man will go to work without knowing that that his girlfriend is his uh, lesbian partner. One day, the man went back, came back suddenly, and caught them red-handed. That what crashed the marriage. So, some of these things, if your marriage crashed tomorrow, you will send them me. Again, you might be a woman that have a lencher. You talk like parrot. You knock. Now, every time you will be descending on your husband, shouting on your husband, calling him names. With impunity, disrespecting him. Eventually, your marriage will crash. And when your marriage crash, you will run back and say, Dimly, crash your marriage. Who does that? Then you are sometimes you are a woman married into a family. Your work there is to divide them. Forgetting that whatever you show is what you read. Because you are you, your husband married you. You don't want the husband to take care of his age parents anymore or his siblings. Why? He will keep on reminding him that he has no children, that don't this children can or can we train them, this and that, telling them all these sort of things in order to stop him from taking care of his family, immediate family. You know that that immediate family is helping. Can bring enough blessing that we that we ensure that your husband business keep flourishing. You know, you know that yeah, that's your husband that married you. That his mother has been praying for him. That 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 is exactly what brought him to that height. We met him before he married. You know, you know that stopping him from helping his family members can bring his downfall. You know. So whenever the man married you and he succeeded for peace to reign, he succeeded uh, in pushing the man not to be helping his family members and calamity follows and the man business crashed. You will blame. And by so doing, you will say that I, when I got married to my husband, my husband was doing well. Now, since after marrying me, he's now broke. That is in the middle that is responsible. Who does that? Yes, you are married to your husband, but you keep on going around about sleeping with your former boyfriend. And because of what you have done, don't you know that a married woman, when a married woman starts sleeping outside the home, it's like he's giving the husband poison. You know, he can do so many things. If you are a married woman sleeping around, that action can bring your husband down. That action is like giving your husband poison. 
the man's the man can fall sick because of that action, you know. Yes. The man business can crash because of the action, you know. That that vibration you won't share and radiation you won't share as husband, as a wife to your husband. Husband and wife share radiation, the poor radiation. But once you bring the third party, maybe your, bo your boyfriend radiation into the family, the family radiation between you and your husband is no longer stable. It's keep on going up and down because of that distortion, distorted vibration that comes in from your, your boyfriend. Do you know that you sleeping around outside the home, sleeping around with another man outside your husband, can crash his business, you know. And the way he does, he say in the middle. Do you know that you are high test? You are a young girl. The guy promised to marry you. But what he normally points hand is those who reach, reach something. You are not follow, you are not bringing anything to the table. You are not even working. You are not even contributing to the time. But you will be the one, a guy took you out to go and buy maybe an Android phone for you. He went there and he decided to embarrass him by saying, what is Android? That you prefer iPhone. Why can't you tell, discuss it with the man to know his budget before leaving the house? The man now came to a phone shop. and said, okay, do for maybe a phone or within the range of 200k down. And the idea telling him that I don't like this kind of phone. That okay, reason give you a reason. See the reason of a young lady. This is a long young lady, is a, a lady that can't even boast of 100,000 in her, in her own account. You are telling the man that uh, I, don't, I don't like using this uh, uh, infinite, I don't like using this uh, techno. What are your reasons? I will give flimsy school that their camera is not as good as iPhone. I know. But but some of them actually have good cameras. They might not be as 100% as iPhone. I agree with you. But you, what exactly do you want to you be using that iPhone to do that will bring in equal reaction, equal benefit to you? Hey, that's the snap, Snapchat, Snapchat. How does that your Snapchat bring money to the family, to the table? Yeah. If you are not a content creator, if you are a son of a billionaire, I rest my case, I don't have one now. If your dad can afford it, I say, look, I, I respect your, I respect your dad's wish. If you can afford it as a single, maybe a working class, you can afford it with your own money. I drop my cap for you. Duale, I help you. But if you cannot afford 100,000 naira food on your own with your own sweat, and somebody took you out to a phone shop and want to buy a phone of 200k and you brush it out as I don't use that kind of thing. It's not my thing. You were a bad character. And that bad character might make that man not to buy the phone again. And even if the man buy the phone of your choice, the man might decide to come to you tomorrow. Tomorrow you will not say it's in the middle. This in the middle self. Auntie, open on the middle in a crash your relationship or high test. You went on a date with a man. You know then what some of the ice cream and the party cake I saw had that I cannot I cannot try such. Even if I have even if I'm a billionaire, I can never use thirty k to buy a cup of ice cream. For what? Is it ice cream of life? Yes. You know what that place? Do you know that even that thirty thousand naira, there's a place you show that thirty thousand naira, it will help you a lot, a lot, a lot in life. You know. But you used to lick it with just more cup. I even if there is ice cream, it's like ice cream of life. So. So of this, when you a man took you for a date, maybe the man has three hundred thousand naira with him on eight years here. Took you out, you, you do for ice cream of thirty k. After licking that one, he tell you that he would like to go with 
one again as take home. Then you start go to cream. You point a perfume of 120,000 naira. So you go there, your cream is maybe 80,000 naira cream. All the shoppings, maybe before you know it, that 300,000 naira, the man will be really struggling for the money to, to be able to pay for all the things you eat. Don't you know that that man might not, might just do it out of shame because <laughs> he doesn't want you to disgrace him in public. So he formed his God. When he was, he was praying for that money, he's bleeding inside his heart. Auntie, after taking you out, the guy will not call you again. And he was saying, I don't want, I don't know what is happening to me. Guys will collect my number. After that first date, they will not call me tomorrow. Or oh, Auntie, he have bad character. You understand? What we we'll be looking at, what how what will make the man to spend much money. In fact, if there is any some of the items that uh is more expensive than Turkey, that is what we point out. Have you asked if the man this man is is your husband and they can afford it willingly without shaking, no problem. After all, Turkey is Turkey. In fact, if there is anyone that is better than Turkey, go for that one. Yes. But if this guy is just a guy that is uh, managing, maybe, you know, we guys now sometimes we like to impress a woman. A guy will take you on out. He will go, he will go, he go to go and to take home. Say, hey, that's my, my girlfriend, Joy, now let me buy something for Joy. This man was like suffering and smiling. He, after buying this, he will not buy it again. So sometimes all this unnecessary demand is what is crashing a relationship. Sometimes you have bad mouth. Sometimes you don't even know how to talk. Sometimes your advice is how you will divide his family or remove his attention from his family members. He might not call you tomorrow. Yes. It is not what what's it? He cannot get a man with your snake car style, uh, hippopotamus style, elephant style, or even uh, uh, donkey style. Those things is not what can make you to keep a man. Are you following? Yes, what makes you to keep a man is the man, men are so intelligent when it comes to mind. He will be thinking about what are you bringing to the table that will help him to rise. You pray for him. You motivate him. You bring new ideas that he often uh, apply in his business and uh, getting good results. You must be an asset so that comrade and consul, he cannot dash you out because he knows you are what. But what you are bringing to the table is next time, monkey style. Hippopotamus style cannot keep a man, I can tell you. Maybe you don't even have respect for the man. You cannot use sex alone to keep a man. Some say uh, men like food. Yes, they act like food. But they cannot use food alone to keep a man. You know why? Before the man reaches you, the man knows other other name was. The man knows those, those good joints. You normally go and eat and get satisfied. Yes. You, you can't use even sense. Your sense, the man used to get sense before he came across you. Are you following? So what a man actually needs. Someone will say, what is this thing that men actually needs? What a man needs is respect and peace of mind. So without giving a man this respect and peace of mind, Believe in me, the man will trash you. And once he trash you, he says it's in the middle. Check your character. Your character could be what is uh, sending negative signal to, to uh, opposite sex, to suitors. Change your character. Know how you talk. Yes. 
the way you treat people around you might even send negative signal to the man that wants to marry you. A friend of mine told me how he invited a friend, a, a friend, a girl, to his house. No, so when he invited this particular girl, the way the girl talked to an Okada man that brought the car to the man's house, without knowing that the man is somewhere closer to the gate, and hear how he embarrassed the man, maybe they have misunderstanding. The way he talked down on that Okada man, wow, made this man to. Say, no, 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 no. If this girl can talk down to a man that is old enough to be his her father this way, then he, she is not good for a marriage. That's how the girl came that day. The man chatted with him, uh, with her, very briefly, and gave her money to go. Till that, the lady in question did not know why the man did not take her serious again. But the man did not take her serious because the way he talked to a kind of man, that brought her to the man's house. Are you following? So the way you treat others, we are taking note of all that. Respect everybody. Be decisive, but don't insult. So what am I saying in essence? We are under law. Before you start blaming in the minute, check your character, if your character is good. Check it as if you are a man. This character you are exhibiting to your boyfriend or to your fiancé, if you are a man, will you marry a woman with such character? Answer the question. So sometimes your bad character might be what is responsible for the failure. Why men are not taking you serious? Your character might be responsible. So what I'm advising you, check your character very well. It's the only way your character is superb. When your character is exactly when your character is exactly what you you want. Yeah, if you're a man, assuming take yourself, are you a woman, but take yourself as if you're a man. If your character is what you will get married to, if you're a man, then you know you are good. So one once before you blame all this your spiritual forces, whether or is he you are, whether it's your spiritual associate, whether it's your endemic or undoot, make sure your character is good. Yes. Then make sure your foundation is good. Make sure everything about you is good before you start blaming the spiritual angle. So what I can tell you today is that more than fifty percent of people blaming in the middle today as what is responsible for their predicament are actually the cause of their deal. Are you following? So, if you're a man, you're a man, but you keep on jumping from Njideka to Ngozi, Njideka will come in the morning, Saturday night, go Sunday morning, in the evening, uh, if anyone is coming in, and go back Monday morning, Wednesday, Angelina is coming. If you are doing it that way, you are changing very vibrations and it will not overwhelm you. Maybe you are the type that normally if you got a woman pregnant, you deny and uh, uh, give money for abortion. By so doing, you are soiling your hands. Those things can be, you know that a single abortion is committed to a lady might crash your business. You know, have you ever taken care, uh, as in, take stock, retreat within you? Can you trust when you start having that negative nightmare or negative vibration in your show when your business started going down? You don't you think that sometimes the way that abortion you gave a lady money deny the pregnancy and actually that pregnancy is yours and you know that that you are hundred percent sure that that pregnancy is yours but you willingly you deny it instead you gave her money to go and abort don't you think that that money you gave out for that abortion and the that, that lady in question use that money for that abortion will be the genesis of your downfall. Yeah, mind I have never gone to that side of it. Yes. So sometimes using your money to oppress somebody can actually be married to you. And the consequence will flow back to you, your original. So sometimes sometimes you blaming people. I travel to the village on Esmas. When I came back, my my shop 
my business stopped going. Yes, that you travel to village is not the issue. But what did you went to village to do? You went to village to for to leak everywhere. To leak everywhere. After for clicking everywhere, you got uh, a lady pregnancy, pregnant, and you deny it. Before you come back for January, you have already given her money to go and avoid that crash. That's your statement. That thing, thing you did can bring actually a downfall. And they say again, you will be saying, it's village. I visited village and again, when I came back, or I lay a foundation. After spending two months in the village, I came back to Lagos. I came back to my Obudoi, uh, where I place. Where everything remains still safe. How do you tell your spiritualist what a com atrocity committed in the village that gave room for that negative vibrations to crash your business? Totally. You know, do you tell him? Maybe not. What you just mentioned, I, I went to a village uh, after staying 10 years in abroad. I went there. I left foundation. I stayed there for three months. I came back now, nothing works again. Did you tell him the abominable act he committed in the village that made it possible? Even if he had village people send negative vibration, he gave a hand to it. Did you tell him? Now you are blaming him, the or maybe you are blaming another death. So what I can tell you is this. Such a word. I can tell you, what you don't deserve, or what you don't long for, or what you don't pray for, because even if negative, you you pray to be born in a in a in a in a humble home, poor homes, in order to experience how life the poverty life looks like. It can be your karma, it can be your you to be born in a in a humble home. It can be your you because you wanted to express. You know. But I was discussing with uh, uh, somebody, uh, his father is a, a billionaire, who was telling me, is it possible that somebody cannot have what to eat in a day? He, he, couldn't, he couldn't understand it, whether it's possible for somebody to stay without food or not sure. Do you know that there are some people that are hearing my voice now? They are not even sure what they will do tomorrow, you know. But some people are born in a rich man's home. Might not even know. Uh, I might find it difficult to believe that such a thing can happen because they have not experienced it. So, some of what they are experiencing today might be as you are you and you wanted to experience it. So, the only way you can come out of that uh, condition and win it is by whatever you are experiencing, do the needful, keep your, uh, uh, your mind pure, long for what is noble. It's just a matter of time. You will pass that level, that challenges of life, and move ahead with crown. But when you are experiencing some of those challenges, you keep on murmuring and uh, antagonizing anybody, blaming people. You will not even be focused to achieve greatness. And at the end of the day, you fail and you know where you are. But it's only by experiencing those things joyfully that you make those things to last for a while and go away. We move to the next level. I will send me stop here. If you have question in this today's lesson, send message to me on my WhatsApp. Or you want us to do consultation if I have for you. Send message to my WhatsApp 0805 I repeat 0805 or 0813-824-871. I repeat 0813. Eight two four three eight seven one. See you tomorrow. No guy wants to see you. Class him no one. No one will bring you to a church. I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you.